Welcome to CEO via Satellite, a production of GORCOM, in which we take the time to speak with small cap executives about recent board developments at their companies. With us today, I'm really happy to have again, Sean Dollinger. He's president, CEO, and co-founder of Namaste Technologies. The company trades on the CSE, under the stock symbol N, and for our friends in the US on the OTC QB under NXTTF. You can find them on the web at namastetechnologies.com. For those of you who are new to this story, uh, Namaste is a hyper-growing, revenue-generating company that is emerging as a leader in the massive global trend towards vaping. More than just lip service, the company is the world's largest e-commerce B2C vaporizer company. Uh, they, they're on an $18 million revenue run rate, uh, have moved into profitability, and they're looking at $24.9 million in revenue for 2018. The company owns 26 e-commerce stores in 20 different countries and counting. With us today to talk about all the new stuff is Sean. Welcome to the show. Hey, George. Thanks again. Great seeing you as always. Thanks for having uh, me on your show today. And Sean, as is uh, custom with us, we never do an interview in the same place twice. We've had you from your warehouse in Miami. We've had you in Ireland. We've had you in different locations, <laughs> several different locations. It's almost like you're the witness protection program and you're changing locations. Today, you're at your home office, so thanks for joining us from there. No, thanks again for having me, and uh, yeah, looking forward to many more interviews from around the world from you. So, big things have happened since our last interview just a couple months ago. The biggest is you close an acquisition of Canamark. This is a $3.5 million acquisition. Uh, for everybody at home, tell us what Canamark adds to the Namaste family in terms of diversification and for the business and for the business generation. So up to this point, George, as you know, we're an e-commerce company. We've decided to put on our platform, vaporizers, accessories. My whole background of 16 plus years is uh, dot coms. And uh, the way we look at this LP license in Canada is another addition to our product base. Uh, being able to add a consumable is something that's new to our whole platform, but if you think about it, um, when people come to our site or customers come to our site, they're making purchases for $170 on average. Uh, the lifetime value of a customer buying marijuana from us is over $4,500. So wow. it really creates a whole new angle and um, the more we're going around explaining the story, uh, analysts are now understanding how powerful Namaste can be applying its e-commerce expertise. As you know, in Canada right now, the only way to get the marijuana from licensed producers is through the mail. And the only way you go ahead and do that is via online or through the phone. And again, that's what our expertise is in. So we're really, really excited for this opportunity to finally have this card that we'll be able to go out there and uh, distribute the products. Looking down the road, given the fact that recreational may become legalized in Canada in 2018, does that just provide a further potential boost, or is Canamart strictly going to be focused on uh, medical marijuana? George, the way we look at it, if we can make the process so smooth and so easy and so reliable in the medical side, why even worry or think about where it'll go on the recreational side? No one knows. We could speak for hours on what direction the rec space is going to look like. We don't know. But if we could create an amazing customer base now, be able to offer, for example, hey, George, you like PAX. A new PAX unit comes out. Hey, we're going to go ahead and give you a PAX and make our customers so excited and so happy with the experience. That's what we're going to be really focusing on over the next uh, few months. And I know you're not allowed to give projections and things like that, but do you have any indication from the number of customers you have and maybe early early polling or early serving of customers what this might mean in terms of uh, further revenue uh, in 2018 and 2019, or is it just too early to sell right now? I was just speaking to our CTO literally an hour ago exactly about this conversation, and I'm not going to go ahead and throw out any numbers, but start with just three people a day and take the lifetime value that I threw out earlier in our interview today. You'll see just off three customers a day what kind of numbers we're speaking about. Presently in Canada, we have over 100 customers coming to our website every single day to buy vaporizers, whether they're 
completing a purchase, whether they're abandoning the shopping cart, whether they're putting their name on a newsletter. These are all gonna be Canmark customers. So basically what we're gonna be doing is taking namastevapes.ca and putting it under Canmark and that'll actually become the LP's website. Right, right. That makes that makes great sense. And given the who are any of us to question this kind of acquisition, in fact, I'm looking forward to seeing what you're going to turn this into because you've grown Namaste incredibly from the first day we met. So congratulations on that acquisition and looking forward to talking to you about that more when you've got reportable numbers that you can actually put in your financials. Next up was the fact that you've got this, I found this to be very interesting, this uh, Health Canada medical device uh, license in order to distribute uh, Health Canada approved vaporizers. So how do these vaporizers differ from the vaporizer that you're selling to Canadians right now? Hey, George, before I jump into that um, conversation, one thing that I just wanted to throw out there with the LP license is in Canada, Canada's our seventh largest market right now. As we know, Australia, where we made that acquisition of Australian vaporizers, right. Australia is actually 10 times larger than Canada for us. So wow. that's where we see unbelievable excitement where, hey, great, we're going to focus so much on the Canadian market, make the software new technology so amazing for the process and for the checkout process, and then take that piece of software that we're developing and put it across the board in any country where it's legal. So, you know, I, I just wanted to throw that out there. In regard to uh, the Health Canada license, right now s stores in Bickle are the only um, manufacturers in the world that have actually manufactured a medical device that's actually approved. And it's called the Medic line. And right now they have the Medic Volcano and the Medic Mighty. And Namaste has uh, distribution rights in Canada for that unit. And what makes it different, just an example, the Mighty, right now if you cough on a Mighty, your saliva could actually go back into the unit. And Health Canada has determined that could cause bacteria in the unit down the road. A medical device can't have any types of those risks. So right. our friends at Thor's and Bickle, they went ahead and created a special valve that's a one-way valve. So it's impossible for the saliva to go back into the unit. So there's a few different tweaks like that on the volcano as well as the mighty. One thing that I think is really, really amazing that they've done is that they haven't bumped up the price or anything like that just because it's a medical device. So we'll be able to offer both units at the same exact price online. When do you, when do you guys have an ETA unless it's already happening? When, do you, when are you going to start offering the new, the new medical devices online? So we've already put in our purchase order. We're waiting to get the devices delivered in Canada. And uh, you'll be able to see them on namastevapes.ca in the next 30 days. Yeah, and again, just what I love is the fact that you're already on this great revenue run rate, and now you're adding more and more uh, revenue streams on top of it. Sean, you guys are knocking out of the park. So with sales, uh, you've got to have marketing. Uh, that's the only way, obviously, we all know that, Marketing 101. You've signed a marketer agreement with Peaks, and this isn't a typical marketer agreement that people are used to at home where you're going to be doing advertising and things like that. You're actually tapping in to social media influencers. Uh, tell us how you think that's going to work out, because you've had some experience with some influencers that seems like you're going really deep on it now, given the success you've had. So literally at 2 o'clock today, I uh, had a uh, meeting with their uh, CMO over there. Uh, his name is John. And uh, we were discussing exactly, hey, what, what does this really mean now for Namaste? So last week, we went ahead and delivered 30 units to their office in Toronto, uh, the Boundless products, um, the Mighty products, and uh, the Boundless products. So we got them uh, those three different units. They're sending them out this week to a bunch of influencers. And Namaste is one of only three companies, not just in the vaporizer space, but one of three companies. I'll give you a, a comparable. The only other company he'd mentioned on the phone that's fitting under what Namaste is doing is Monster Earphones. Right. So basically, Namaste and Monster are running this um, test on their website, basically, where you'll actually be able to make purchases within their buy windows. So the influencer speaking, let's just say they got their boundless, they'll be doing an unboxing experience, and then it'll click where you could actually hit buy now right in peaks. 
So what happens a lot online is when you click off a site and you're brought somewhere else, your fallout rate is really high or your bounce rate is really high. Here, they trust peaks. They trust peaks. They trust the influencer. They'll be able to actually make the purchases right in the screen. So Namaste is one of uh, the first three companies that'll have that opportunity to do that. So is this in testing mode right now? Are you guys in beta or actually going full swing where you're sending it out to the influencers and letting them do their thing and, and hopefully start bringing the register? George, next Wednesday, you could do an interview with one of the influencers while they're doing it. And you'll see that by next Wednesday, you'll be able to hit buy now. And Namaste is going to be making those sales through Peaks. And, and for everyone at home, we literally contacted Sean this morning about doing an interview. So it, the fact that he spoke to his CTO about, uh, about, the, about the earlier uh, stuff uh, at, at 1 o'clock and then spoke to uh, Peaks at 2 o'clock is completely a coincidence. But it's just great timing. And now you're telling me I can speak to an influence next week. And we might actually take you up on that. Uh, that That'd you know, be great. Maybe, on, fr I think on Friday, on Friday, I'm going to have the 20 influencers over the next month that are going to be rolled out, but I'll actually have the name of the five influencers who next uh, Wednesday will be going live with uh, a live stream of the unboxing experience. Then going forward, it's not just going to end with that. They're going to have the vaporizer, obviously, and they're going to discuss their experiences with the vaporizer if they like it. If they don't like it, don't forget, we're not the manufacturer of those units. Namaste only carries products that we believe in. We believe the influencers will love them. Um, maybe, maybe they're not going to love it right away, but that's what's going to be really neat about it is every time we get a new product or we see a really cool trend, we'll work with our friends at Peaks to get them units. They'll get them out to the influencers, and then Namaste will be able to make the sales for fulfilling all vaporizers that are sold through Peaks platform. Uh, Sean, I got to tell you, and this is a message for everyone at home. Uh, you are heading up the most, what I think is the most exciting company, uh, de most definitely in the, vape, in, in the vaping space, and obviously as in the cannabis-related space, even though up until now you haven't been directly cannabis. But I continue to be amazed, and I think everyone at home who's watching, you got to pay attention to what Sean is doing over at Namaste, because he's already done this multiple times in other verticals and now he's doing it in Namaste. You see the revenue run rates are already there. These aren't just empty promises that we hear in the small cap space where people are you know, throwing stuff at the wall and see what sticks. His, uh, his initiatives are sticking and he's adding more and more on top. And you've, you've seen that they just added on the Canamart acquisition and you see the health Canada medical devices and now the marketing through Peaks. Uh, fantastic, Sean. You guys are a company to watch and I keep telling everybody, you're one of you're, you're my top three five-year holds. This is a stock for me, and I'm not speaking for anybody at home, that you own and you put away and you wait for the next five years to, to let you do your match. But thanks for joining us on short notice. I really appreciate it. I'll leave the last word to you before we sign off. Uh, you know, I guess I just want to end with we're just finished off the month of May today, right? And uh, sales are, are better than ever. So I, I just want to say bravo to my team because I think it's unbelievable that I've been putting pressure on them and, you know, December is supposed to be your best month. January, you know, is a bit of a slowdown. Everybody's cooling off. Here we are in May. Everybody's just about, you know, the, the kids just finished school here in Florida, actually. So we're basically on summer break and uh, they just kicked some butt. They did amazing. So I, I was really happy to see May numbers. Uh, so strong and it stays right in a line, uh, stays in line with what we've discussed up to this point, what you started the show uh, throwing out there this uh, this afternoon. So thanks, George, well, again for uh, having have us. Now, now everyone at home has got a reason to make sure to uh, not only tune in to see what you're doing right now, but make sure you make a point of uh, taking a look at the next quarterly financials because uh, nothing Sean does would surprise me. Sean, thanks for joining us, buddy. Really appreciate thanks, it. Thanks, George. Thanks. You've been watching Sean Dollinger. He's president, CEO, and co-founder of Namaste Technologies. The company trades on the CSC and the stock symbol N, and for our friends in the U.S. and the stock symbol NXTTF. You can find him on the web at namastetechnologies.com, but get to Agoracom, punch in the company name or the stock symbol, so you can take a look at the history of work that we've had with Sean over the past several months, almost a year now. It's fantastic work. 
uh, and it really establishes Sean's credibility of always delivering what he says he's going to deliver. Highly recommend it. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Have a great day. Talk to you soon.